Hi everyone! Today we will talk about color separation for engraving purpose. So let's start our lesson number 11. This topic was chosen by my subscribers. They ask how to separate colors for different types of print, roller print and screen printing. Just be aware, if you use digital printing, you do not need color separation at all. Open our favorite floral print. Let's remind ourselves how many colors it has. Go to Image, Mode, Indexed Color. We assume color reduction is perfectly accurate, so in the palette we will see exact. Be sure transparency is unchecked. We see we have 12 colors which mean one background, usually it's the lightest color, and 11 additional colors, which means 11 rollers. Remember, we do not recommend to use more than 12 rollers unless you have a special agreement with the factory, which obviously increases your price. Let's create color windows, or like they call it also color swatches, for this print. Go back to RGB. Now, what if we want to add glitter or foil? When we create our repeat, put some golden foil on the top of flowers, but don't merge the foil layer with print layer. So when we create our final print, choose foil layer, then select all, add it, define pattern, then go to print file, create new layer, go to edit, fill, fill with pattern. Let's close foil layer for now. Go to color picker and set background color. Try to make it different than print background. We usually don't make print ground pure white, so if it's RGB is 252, 252, 254, let's make it 255, 255, 255. Go to crop tool and select bigger area. Start to create color swatches. With the rectangle marquee tool, create square or rectangle. I usually do one by one. But you can choose different size. Fill it with ground color. Duplicate it and fill it with next color. Try to choose the lightest one. Then duplicate it again and choose next by lightness level color. Then one more and one more. Eventually, you will have 12 swatches. I think they all represent print colors perfectly, except of the first one. With magic wand, contiguous chat select it and create outline. Go edit, stroke, one or two pixels. You can make it pure black or just select the darker color from the print. Now, let's start to make color separation for engraving. I'll make each color roller equal one layer. Let's duplicate our print 11 times. Let's start with upper layer. We will assign it as a darkest color roller. Select last color chip, tolerance 0, anti-aliased off, contiguous unchecked. We are selecting all dark brown area. Go to select, inverse, then edit, fill, fill with white. We have exact engraving pattern for dark brown roller. Close this layer, go to next one, select next color, dark olive, Select Inverse, Edit, Fill, Fill with White. Now we have dark olive engraving pattern. Close this layer, go again to the next one. In the same way, create light green engraving pattern, which reflects light green printing roller. In the same way, we create all other pattern for all 11 rollers.
when you come to the background layer, you'll have a ground fabric color. The factory don't use the roller to fill the ground. They dye entire fabric with the ground color. Usually it's the lightest color. And then send it to the roller machine. Now let's open our foil layer. Create color chip for it. Now let's do it even more impressive. Go to filter, noise, add noise, monochromatic Gaussian. Important. When you separate colors for print, they don't have to overlap. Overlapping makes dirty chip look. However, sometimes it's difficult to avoid this in the execution. But any embellishment layer, glitter, sequence, foil, need to be put on the top of print colors. So obviously foil layer will overlap several print layers. If the factory has a difficulty with color separation, you can send them this file with layers equal rollers so they can see all engravings separately. If the factory has a difficulty to open layered file, you can convert all layers to separate files. Go to File, Export, Layers to Files. In my system, I create folder color separation. Choose TIFF. Here you can choose none, but I recommend to choose LZW. It compresses TIFF files, which allows you to send them with smaller size. If you go to your folder, you can see all your engraving files ready to be sent. Next printing method is screen printing. They use it mostly for placement. Let's open our bare print. We separate prints by CMYK channels, and each channel is printed separately one by one. By overlapping colors, we will have our entire bear. For this method, instead of rollers, they use mesh screens. You can see entire technique process on YouTube. Just type something how to screen print step-by-step -step process. Because we're using mesh for each channel, we have to convert each channel image usable for mesh process. First, let's create crop marks. It will help to align image during screen process. Drag guides, choose view, snap to guides. Use line tool, create marks with white color. Then go to View, Clear Guides. Now, go to Channel Window Corner, Split Channels. Let's prepare each channel for a corresponding screen. Start from black. Go to Image Mode Bitmap. Keep our favorite resolution 200 dpi. Method Half Tone Screen. Assign frequency. It depends on your mesh quality. It doesn't have to be too high or too low. Try 40. When you choose angle, remember that for better quality, it needs to be different for each screen. So for black, choose zero. Shape, round, okay. Next one, yellow. Image, mode, bitmap. Resolution 200 dpi. Method, half tone screen. Frequency 40. Angle, let's do 30, okay. Next one, magenta. Image, mode, bitmap, resolution 200 dpi. Method, have tone screen, frequency 40, angle 45. And the last one, cyan image, mode, bitmap, resolution 200 dpi. Method, have tone screen, frequency 40, angle 60. Okay. Now, each screen is ready to be sent to the factory. Do you want to see the final result? For that, we need to assemble our four screens to multicolor file. Let's go backward to the first file, black. Go to Image Mode Grayscale, Ratio 1. That Image Mode RGB. Go to Yellow Screen, select All, Copy and Paste. We know this screen will be printed in yellow color. To visualize that, choose Color Picker. In CMYK column, type yellow 
other color is zero, zero, zero. With pain bucket, tolerance zero until last of contiguous unchecked, fill black area. We see the yellow layer. How it will blend with black? Go to layer blend window, choose multiply. Then go to magenta screen, select all, copy and paste. Use color picker, magenta 100%, other colors zero. Fill black area with paint bucket. Our magenta layer is ready. How does it blend with previous layers? Choose multiply. And finally, cyan screen. Select all, copy, paste. Color picker, cyan 100%, others 0, 0, 0. Paint bucket, cyan layer is here. Choose multiply. See? Our screen bearer is ready to go to the factory. If we zoom in, we can see these multicolored dots, but this is only a preview because we use multiply blend method. So now we know how to separate color for major print method, roller printing and screen printing. Next time we will return to print design and learn more cleaning methods. Please subscribe to my channel, like it if you still didn't, and don't forget to check your bell. See you soon.